be blessed in you. We honor you. Amen. In the name of our Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Oh, give a clap of it unto the Lord, my Savior, and I am. And my tongue, John, my soul, my soul, and then again.
To make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves lion cloths. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But Lord, but the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? This end our first Bible reading. Thanks be to God. Amen. may be known about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. Since, for since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his internal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what is being made, so that the people with that so that the people are without excuse. This is the end of the second Bible. Calvary. Our third reading is taken from Matthew 22, 1 to 14. Matthew 22, 1 to 14. Let's hear the word of God. And Jesus answered and spoke to them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who arranged a marriage for his son and sent out his servant to call those who were invited to the wedding and they were not willing to come. Again, he sent out other servant saying, Tell those who are invited, See, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and fatted cattle are killed, and all things are ready, come to the wedding. But they made light of it and went out their ways, one to his own farm, another to his business. But the rest seized his servant, treated them spitefully, and killed them. But the king heard 
about it. He was furious and he sent out his armies, destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. Then he said to his servant, The wedding is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy. Therefore, go to the highways, and as many as you find, invite to the wedding. So those seven went out into the highways and gathered together all whom they found, both bad and good. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. But the king came in to see the guests. He saw a man there who, he, who did not have on a wedding garment. So he said to him, Friend, how did you come in here without a wedding garment? He was speechless. Then the king said to the servant, Bind him hand and foot, take him away, and cast him into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and garnishing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. For many are called, but few are chosen. Here ends our third reading.
Trusting in our own righteousness, 